All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So clearly, clearly, I did not expect these last two days. There is, there is, there's no question around it. There's no other way to say it. I was actually relatively bullish. I, I would even say I was, I was very bullish. I, I really thought that the start of the week was going to do well. The, the 50 moving average, man. It's just, it's been, it's been a difficult, difficult line this little minute. And normally I wouldn't be as worried, but today. Today's a little ugly, and look, you know I don't cover it a lot. If I have time, I'll flash it. What happened to MSOS? Like, why did this have such a devastating drop? And again, I don't know if I'll have time to cover it, but I took a peek at Curaleaf. What happened here? Why did the why did the U.S. stocks take such a bad hit? I'm I'm wildly curious. I haven't looked at any of the news, but what we will do is what we always do, right? We'll focus on the big four. Um, and then if I got time, like I said, I'll, I'll quickly touch on the other ones. But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, all right? So let's get into it. And very, very quickly, I was wrong on these last two days. There, there is nothing else I can say about that. I am not here to pretend any otherwise. Um, I I am I am I'm surprised. Like I just made another video really emphasizing the the Nasdaq, all right? What we're looking at on the indices is a S&P 500 that continues to fly. Today, look at the numbers, okay? The high of the day was basically like 20 cents lower than the close of the day. Like that's a wildly strong candle on the S&P 500. As we look at the Dow Jones, it's still flying, right? And like when the indices do well, so should all the stocks and to see those two days and then see these two it's 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 crazy it actually is you know what i mean and again i know i talked about the 50 moving average being a difficult line right and we get a good break but we can't confirm we had a good break and man i'm telling you i i was i was i was hopeful i was bullish whatever the words you want to use right like i'm not pretending otherwise but I thought we were gonna confirm on Monday. I thought we were gonna try to make that move up into that 220s range, right? Like, yeah, 221, right? Like, that's what I was expecting. Not today, which actually takes us under all five moving averages. Now, look, it's just a single day. There's, there's never a, a you shouldn't overreact, good or bad, on a single candle, right? But um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm slightly speechless unless there's some like big, big news that I completely missed, right? But when the Dow goes up, when the S&P 500 goes up, weed stock should too. Now look, don't get me wrong, and we've actually talked about this on a few other videos. S&P went up since the 30th, but weed did not. Dow Jones went up, Dow Jones Industrial, went up since the 30th and we didn't, right? So you can see it, we're not doing that, right? So um, there was a little bit of a hope that like, you know, maybe we would just kind of catch up exponentially, but yeah, right now it's 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 far more worrisome than hopeful. All right, and and that's a very disappointing thing to say. You know, there are three moving averages here. There is a bit of a cluster here. So hey, maybe we're gonna kind of tornado it, right? Go up a little bit, come down a little bit, go back up a little bit, essentially oscillate on these three lines, right? But again, my last video, my expectations, my complete complete like being wrong, I was gonna say wrongness, maybe wrongness is a word, I have no idea. I'm, I'm shocked we're not up here, I am. And, and, and that's, that's really all I got to say and, and let me know if there's any news I'm missing, but um, yeah, that, this, 
<laughs> I got, I got, I got nothing more, right? Um, again, look, this is a, this is not the way I want the weekly to go, because again, we got a doji on the weekly. We have a, almost a textbook doji, right? Like, this is not the truth I want to see. You know what I mean? Like, volume was starting to look good, starting to peak that fifty average line, and all of a sudden we're here, like surprising, shocking, and disappointing. I don't think there's any other word. Let me know if there's some news that I missed that maybe justifies these last two days, but um, ugly, ugly and rough, right? And again, exact same comments on CGC, all right? Like, oh, I guess in some ways we can kind of say that like, look, this was a good candle, couldn't follow through. This was a good candle, couldn't follow through, maybe made, but like, again, it, just in case, like I'm gonna chapter these together, so hopefully you would see, but like S&P 500's going up, Dow Jones is going up. How are you, CGC, how are you not going up, CGC? Like, it's, 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 it's frustrating and look, like nothing's guaranteed, nothing's perfect, you know that, right? Like I don't have a crystal ball, I'm using these lines to kind of help me set an expectation. Obviously, I don't let my emotions dictate too much. I adjust accordingly once I see the realities, right? But you know, that doesn't, that doesn't change the fact that I'm shocked, that I'm wrong, that I'm surprised, all that sort of stuff, right? The one big thing I wanna just echo one more time, look, I genuinely, I sincerely, I almost etched in stone, almost rule number one, right, is, when the indices do well, when S&P, when Dow Jones, when NASDAQ does well, the, the, the individual stock should, okay? Clearly that's not the case that we're seeing on, on these two, probably the rest, right? Um, that rule is not going away from me. Every now and then you're gonna find an outlier. You're gonna find a moment that's just, you know, not part of the rules. It, it's, it's an outlier, right? It's a, it's a random occurrence. That's all it is in my opinion. I'm not breaking that rule because again, the indices control it all. A good market should be good for everything. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just shocked. Let me know if there's any news that I missed on either CGC. Again, let me flash it one more time just in case I don't have time for it. What happened to MSOS, to Curaleaf? What, uh, let me look at Cresco real quick just to like, just to like, Cres. Cool, 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 right here, Cresco Lab. What happened in the US? Did something bad happen? Like, what's the dude's name? Did Schumer all of a sudden say, I hate weed? Like, dude, this is a little crazy. And I don't know if it's driving the, uh, look again, same one too, man. Same one too. And this one's actually under all five moving averages. That's an ugly candle. Look at that, the low of the day was 140, the close of the day was 140. That's an ugly candle. It's not a big giant one, obviously. We're still over this line, obviously. But yeah, I don't like to see the low of the day be the close of the day on the confirmation under all five moving averages. That's definitely worrisome. You can also see volumes going up and it's actually a lot of selling volume, right? Like I don't like as the reds start to increase. This is a this is a rough chart. This, this is a rough one. <sighs> Oh, I don't like this one at all. Damn, I'm a little worried on high tide as well now. Damn. You're lying. Are you under all? You're not under all, but dude, you almost lost all three of those moving averages. <sighs> Let me know if there was some news I missed. I feel like when I'm done here, I'm going to actually start, start to see what I missed because... There's, there's a little bit too much hardcore dropping happening. I don't know if the US side is actually starting to pull the these ones down, but um, damn. Yeah, this is, this is again, more than anything, not what I expected. I was for sure wrong. You know, I'm never here pretending that like I didn't say what I said, right? So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Let me know about those US ones. Um, crazy day. There's, there's actually, I, I got nothing else to say. Yo, thank you so, so much for the time.